Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use Charistics Conformance software to create a machine-readable HL7 interface specification, also known as a profile. Creating a profile is useful when you're working for a vendor and you want to document a product interface specification. Now you can make copies of the profile you create, customize them for each customer site and deployment environment. And once you have a profile, you can also create a profile report in Word to make sharing easier. So here's what you see when you first open Charistics Conformance. You see the profile library section where profiles or specifications are accessed. And there are a couple of different ways to create a profile. First of all, you can simply make a copy of a standard HL7 reference specification. So let's right click a standard. You go create copy in and you choose a folder. And there it is. You can rename it and probably give it the name of your product and a version number. That name will appear right here. So that's one easy way to create a profile. If you want to create a tighter profile, because this of course was based on HL7 v26 and it's got a whole range of trigger events and data types and tables all listed in there. If you want to create something a little tighter, then you, there's another way of going about doing this. In the menu bar, go to Profile and select Add New Profile In and we'll select a folder. And there. Okay, that's just an empty profile. And The next step is to populate it with data elements and events from either another profile in the profile library or create an undefined event that we'll fit and fill in later. So let's go ahead and fill in a couple of different events. We're going to add some trigger events from an existing profile. Let's say it's V251 and we'll just select a few of, of the ADT events we need. Go apply and there are those events. Now, if there's, an, if there's a customized message type that we'd like to define, we can go ahead and do that as well. So we can go hit New Profile, Add Trigger Event, and this is a new undefined trigger event that we can then go ahead and edit and add segments to and add other information to that we need to. So that's how you go about building a profile. Now, once you've created a profile, you can also create a, a report in Word to make sharing easier. Here's a profile we've already built. We right click, go down to open report. Yes, because we didn't save our changes for the new profile. And now you can, here's the, the report we're going to open. And you can select the data elements that you want to focus on. You're not obliged to print an, a report of the entire profile. So let's say we want to just focus on a few of the ADT events. Go apply. And the document opens in Word. Now when we scroll, you can see that the document itself is based on the structure that we're all familiar with from HL7 documentation. You can see You've got your list of trigger events or messages, and then you can scroll through or click through to see the message segments. And you can do the same for the data types and the tables. And you can save this document and share it with people working on the interface, including your customer. And that's been our demo and tutorial on creating a profile or interface specification using Charistics Conformance software. Thanks for watching.